There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Hey, cunts. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And the, the kids, they were, they were making some comments about uh, some famous guy uh, 100 years on. And I, when I do watch TV, I watch the, the uh, History Channel, uh, public broadcasting, that kind of thing. And they were talking about him, you know. Uh, and I, I said, Sally, I wonder what they're going to say about me. Um, the, uh, but see, one of the reasons that you see former prime ministers, former presidents of, like, of the U.S., try to build their legacy after the president. They have presidential libraries, etc., right? Because they realize they're probably going to be the last persons that write about them for 50, 100 years until history takes them into account. Um, and one of the reasons I do, uh, uh, and I switched 10 or plus years ago to uh, giving the uh, stuff free, other than to take the last excuse you have, why you can't do this because the information is free, is um, that uh, 100 years from now, I still want people to be able to use the QLA. Because unless something tr dramatically changes in the financial system, and I'm not saying it won't, but until something changes, I mean, QLA is king. There isn't anything better that you can do with no money. We've got two or three of you fucking meatheads that have tried to put your own money in. I, I, if you looked at my website for 30 minutes, you know it's not supposed to be your money. What, uh, 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 other people's money, OPM, other people and other people's money are the two biggest levers in life. Other people, the efforts that they put towards sweat, etc., and other people's money are the two biggest levers in life. If it wasn't for those two levers, I'm, I wouldn't be here. <laughs>